that's the whole part, right? There, like, that is an established buffer zone. And whoever owns the property, they have to put kind of a sign there so people will know that, hey, this is a buffer zone. It's not for us a place for you to sell. And those are some of the things that we have to take a look at. The property is government owned and the mayor's office already cleaned up the area. Servino says the problem is the task force is having to conduct constant follow-up inspections because vendors aren't taking them seriously. Saturday we did a really good job. And like you said, there was only three vendors over there. Right. I came Sunday and the same vendors that we asked not to move down, they took their stuff, they came back and they put it back up again. It's because they knew there was not going to be any enforcement on Sunday. I know so that's why we need to be uh, able to come there on a regular basis to, to enforce this. During the recent inspection, DISIT issued at least 20 citations for accessibility violations. Public Health met with 34 vendors, more than half of whom did not have sanitary permits. Public Health's Tom Nadeau says a handful of vendors who had permits had the wrong type or were operating in the wrong location. Those vendors were recommended to cease operations immediately. GFD also conducted enforcement. Fire Inspector Joey Manabusen. They did issue some notice of hazards, and we are working with the mayor right now on reevaluating the the layout of the the flea market, the legal flea market, on uh, increasing and and meeting the fire code requirements for our fire department accessibility issues. Other issues task force members are contending include vendors that were given legal approval to operate years back, but these same vendors are not operating in compliance with current law. The issue now here is these grandfathered uh, exclusions and permits. We need to come, we need to do a better job at regulating ourselves. And the government has to be consistent. They can't give waivers. And, and we found that when we did our last a week ago, we found those discrepancies where there were things that occurred that shouldn't have occurred. And we said, wow, who issued this permit? You know, this shouldn't have happened. The task force will rove the flea market along with Guam police this Saturday to continue education and enforcement. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.